When I think of Mill, I think of advocacy, I think of warmth, I think of sense of belonging, and I think of teaching. And what I think is incredible about what the center is and what I hope it will be beyond 10 years is that those characteristics and those adjectives are what describes the center. The center personally is kind of like a home away from home or just kind of a home base that you can come to and feel at ease and you know there's always people here with who've, who have got your back. I was able to meet some of my closest friends through the center and through some of the student groups there and it's done that for a lot of other students as well and I think that students who are able to be in fellowship with one another and learn and grow together um, especially with awesome professional staff who help us in that growth I think is super super important. Coming to the center and just seeing how just you know like um, passionate folks were about, you know, their places in the LGBT community, their identities and their experiences coming out and, you know, coming into themselves really kind of made me want to step out um, and speak up, especially being a member of the black community as well. As a gay staff member, I think that it's great to have this place on campus that I can come over here with my colleagues and share some of my experiences on campus. and not have to go into a lot of explanation about why I'm feeling this way. And once again, the understanding piece comes in and just feeling normalized and supported as a staff member. It's very warm when you walk in, the places where you can sit and people eat and they sometimes have potlucks and things like that. So I feel like it's a place that adds to Grand Valley. It's a place that I feel comfortable going into and a place that I know will welcome any student that I refer to them, but also other faculty and staff. For the center to be here, we have to realize how many people have gone before us. I think we stand on a foundation of work that's been laid out here for us and we just kind of got to appreciate it for what it is, you know. The political climate has changed in 10 years for the better, for the most part for the better, and they keep pace with it. In fact, they're probably out in front of it, and I think that's really important. They can help keep our campus out in front of it. As younger generations of people tend to start coming out and recognizing themselves as being part of this vibrant community as they come into a place of inclusion or even if they come into a space of hostility the center will continue to operate as a place for them to be bold and expressive in who they are and unapologetic about it. In the past 10 years so much has been accomplished that it's exciting to think about what the next 10 years has in store. The center's well on their way. It's been 10 amazing years of helping students um, realize their full potential, but I would love to see it just skyrocket and see the center's impact for inclusion on our campus.